There are actually several ways that water could get inside of a crew member's suit. And, uh, and, and while we're outside, we weren't really sure which of those uh, methods it was. There's a drink bag that fits on into this pouch and mounts right in the front along your belly with a, uh, a little drink tube coming out by your chin. That holds about 32 ounces of water and that was the first place that uh, was suspect of a leak. You, there's also sweat but it was a significant amount uh, more water than what normally would be produced by sweat. It could have been urine although to get to the back of his head is very unlikely. And then the, the other source of water that's out there with us on a spacewalk is in the cooling loop. And we wear a cooling garment. This special long underwear like uh, pajamas kind of with tubes woven in, cooling tubes woven into the fabric and ventilation lines running along your back and it plugs into the suit with a connector here that goes by your belly button so this was another area that uh, that uh, I thought could have been leaking or we thought uh, right in one of this fitting here maybe that was leaking and then the, the guts of the suit are behind in the backpack here and there's plumbing that goes that where the the suit and the the ventilation and the uh, cooling systems meet and there's different interfaces there that uh, that's what the engineers are looking at right now and the ventilation comes into this port here which mates up with the part of the helmet that I already showed and uh, and that's where the water was coming from 